I did the pistol and knife only series to give me some time for this. What I'm going to be doing is making a series sort of like I did in Ascension. And what I was going to be doing is making a video just basically see how far I can get. How high in waves I can get like I did. I did 50 plus rave um, strategy. I did like 70 plus. I think I got to wave 100 but I didn't post a video because I got caught in a glitch or something like that. And it like made all the zombies sort of run away or some, something stupid like that, but I couldn't, I was on wave 100 and I couldn't go any further and it wasn't real point of uploading a video for it because, yeah, um, there's been also in rumor roundup for Call of Duty Black Ops Zombies, there's been a few rumors that, um, well not rumors, I've tested it out myself, there's an out of map glitch that I was going to post to you guys, but I don't really think I'll post it now because I might eventually, but what it is is an out of map glitch. And the reason I was hesitating on posting it is because it sort of doesn't do anything. Like, you end up on underneath one of those rocks to my left, um, somewhere like that, and you really can't shoot any zombies and they can't shoot you. So, I mean, unless you really do want to know about it, guys, I will post a video if you do want me to. But, I mean, I don't really know if it's that useful because it's, it's not something like Ascension, how you can hover over the map and become invincible and what like that. It's sort of more like a um, glitch where uh, you're just stuck in that one spot and um, you, zombies will come to you and you can shoot them down, but really it's not really worth it for the iPod. But if you do want me to, as I say again, guys, do post a comment and I will definitely do a video about it. Um, I'm sure I will, guys, if you want me to, but I don't really think it's too necessary. So, um... The strategy, I think, George, oh crap, Stra oh, well, strategy that's implemented at the moment, I think I'll be using um, further on, probably all the ways, I don't think I'll be changing it too much as we do progress through waves, but um, I'll probably alter it uh, a little bit, but I'd say, um, yeah, I really do need to calm down George, eh, yeah, but uh, let's, no, mm, well, there's, there's too many zombies on the map, so I don't think I will. No, I'll just let him run because, like, he is annoying, but he just becomes one of the zombies when he gets into the horde. He, d he sort of blends into them, so... Yeah, bombs are really crap pathetic in Black Ops Zombies for iOS. I mean, Semtexes are alright. They added them in Call of the Dead for iOS, but, um... I'll occasionally use them, but definitely not. They're definitely not worth the Semtex. Semtex... Really, all they do is you throw them and then they stick in one spot and blow up. They're not like the Semtexes from um, Black Ops Zombies on PS3 or Xbox. But I do think it is worth buying over the um, normal grenades because the normal grenades are just pathetic. I mean, you can use them, but really all they are, they just go unco and like you hold them for a couple of seconds and then they blow up and when you throw them, they got like 20 minutes to go or some stupid thing like that. Really, it's not evened out to how much you can hold it. So I wouldn't, in Black Ops Zombies for iOS, be mucking around with the actual um, holding of the grenade because it's not like PS3 where it's all balanced and all that stuff or Xbox where it's sort of a balanced long time before the grenade will blow up. But um, yeah, guys, um, mm, heading into the gameplay at the moment, there's a few zombies which I will be taking out single-handedly and... Um, yeah, by myself, so, these crawlers, I'm trying now, I'm realising it, I think, yeah, I realise now that more of the zombies are spawning from the crawlers, not from the, the actual start of the map, it's more from the crawler side of things, so I'm, I'll try and work my way around and eliminate, oh, there's double points, so I'll better get that. Yeah, I'll try and work my way and eliminate the zombies on the ground, so then it just restricts me to what zombies are actually... Um, in the playing field, I guess you could call it, but, um, yeah, George, I uh, don't really bother killing him, seeing it is a pistol and knife only series, guys, but, um, I mean, the death machine are just to completely kill the pistol and knife only, so, I'm not gonna do that, but we'll just leave him run as the time being, you can't really keep him without being angry, because, like, he walks around for a little bit, and then when the horde's around, you end up shooting him once an hour and then, and the next minute, you know what, you turn around and he's pissed off, and God knows what with it, um, so really doesn't matter with him, but right now, bugger it, I'm gonna, gonna make him 
calm down a bit just while the rave starts because he's really pissing me off. And yeah, I don't think it'll last, but we'll see. Um, no other perks are necessary for this strategy guide, guys. I don't think that you really need to be using something like speed cola because I do have two pistols and pistols don't really take long to reload, especially when I'm using one bullet from this gun per wave. And I mean, really, I don't need speed cola. And for the other gun, I don't need it either. So for what it's worth, I don't really think I should go buying the perk because, I mean, I don't want to keep a zombie at the end of the wave. And I'm sort of good with what I'm doing now at the moment. So, yeah, I'll just keep hoarding them up, I probably think, and then take them out all in one hit, I'd say. But I'll probably miss a few because as the waves go on, they get stronger, harder, and a lot more. But, of course, there is a zombie limit to how many can be on the map at once. But, um, basically, yeah, thanks for, oh, it's in the video, it's definitely not over, but I mean, thanks for watching the whole video. I should probably be doing more of these long gameplay videos. I know for one of my other longest gameplays so far would be this one, but the, I've done another one where it was all 23 minutes in one, but that was really back in Kino when I didn't really do too much of the one videos. But if you do want to check that out, um, feel free to go over to my channel and check it out. It was sort of a longer video, I guess, but I did start from wave one, so it wasn't anything too special. But yeah, Call of the Dead sort of is really glitchy at the moment, and I don't know if you guys have been finding it as well. Everyone found it from the first day that zombies were standing still. I just really find it hard to get to a high wave, because, I mean, I don't die from anything. It's just like the zombies either glitch out, and then when I start pause and resume, next minute I know it, the zombies are running in the complete opposite direction, they just completely run out of the map, and I can do nothing. So, and I've had times where, like, a zombie hits me, and then I'm down by one hit, and all that sort of stupid stuff. But, I mean, not such an issue, you can always work around it. Call It's good that they made Call of the Dead soon, but, um, like, as I say, they will probably have another update before the next map, patching all these glitches, they'll probably patch the outer map glitch, that's why I'm not posting it straight away, and like they did with Ascension, how they patched that hole in the, um, near the power or something like that, they patched that, but, um, they'll probably do something like that, and do a lot of error fixes for Call of the Dead, just before the next map comes out, which is pretty good, because, I mean, call, um, <clears throat> what's his name, George is really glitchy, I mean, if you run like this, or not like that, like, head-to-head -head with him, he runs into a wall, or just keeps running in midair or something like that, so, I mean, there's heaps of glitches, like, if I just kept running back like that, he'd stand still and wouldn't move, so, I mean, there's a lot of glitches with him, and the lightning, of course, is very annoying with George, it puts you well off aim, it puts you well off everything, and, um, yeah, I think the video is drawing to a close now, guys, but, um, because I really could go on forever, although, oh, I'll wait for that nuke, actually, um, should I wait, yeah, I'll do one little, see, see what I mean, guys, George sort of glitches, so do zombies and all that stuff, but, um, yeah, wait till I have a fair few zombies on the map so the nuke actually does something, or better get it now, yeah, and so, as you can see there, guys, also, I wouldn't say it's a glitch, but I mean, I tend to not get too many drops, but when I do get them, I get them, like, one after another, like, I might get four nukes in a row or something like that, or I might get, like, ten max ammos, or maybe sixteen, um, what's it called, uh, what are those hammer things, barrier rebuilding, those... Oh, yeah, the barrier rebuilding things, um, I'll probably get heaps of them in a row, but, I mean, it's not really spread out like it was in the other maps, but, I mean, I'm not a big complainer, I don't really care, I'm really happy with Black Ops Zombies for, um, Call of the Dead, all in all, guys, I really love the map, and I can't wait for more, there's been rumours that there won't be any more, but I'm pretty sure I will make a rumour roundup video about that, at the moment, it's too early to call, I'd say, but, um, yeah, there will be information. I don't know about leaked this time, but I mean, I know they haven't given up yet. The app's not even in its middle, well, it is about its middle cycle now, so they're not just going to give up about it. It's become a great franchise, Black Ops Zombies for iOS. A lot of people have been using it. I mean, it's got millions sold worldwide. Another example of glitches over here, guys. See the guy right over there? 
glitching into the wall, and um, it's only when you run up to him that it changes. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, I could go forever with this if I wanted to, and so could you, but um, try it for yourself, guys, if you want to have a bit of fun with pistol and knife only. It is a bit of fun. It doesn't look too fun, but it, it's all right at times. It's better than the normal thing, using guns and all that stuff. It sort of restricts you to what you can do. But it can be a bit of fun when it is implemented correctly. So that's that, guys. I'm doing what I normally do. Just another word of warning. Keep a distance when you're using the um, explosive from the pistol because it can hurt you as well. So don't shoot it on your feet because you can down yourself and stuff like that. So just be a bit wary when you are shooting the pistol. But yeah, this has been my 100th, 100th video, guys. Thank you guys really heaps. I have a lot of videos coming out lately. Um, yeah, see, these are these couple of zombies. You can just take off their heads pretty quick. But that has been the video, guys. Until then, I'll 